the best entry level job tier list. In this video, we are gonna be ranking entry level careers from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And I'm gonna try to do this one really fast, so if you appreciate my speed on this, go ahead, gently tap the like button, uh, comment down below, let me know what you think about my rankings, and share this video with other people so they can let me know as well. This might actually be one of the most valuable videos I have ever done on this channel, so definitely pay attention to this one. So let's jump into it right now with the first one on the list, which is data entry. Data entry, very, very simple. You literally just put data from one source and then you input it into another source. A lot of it has been automated, uh, processed, streamlined, etc. However, there still are data entry jobs out there. This is the type of work that you will get bored of in the first few hours of the first few days of your job. It's incredibly boring. It's also incredibly easy to outsource. The only reason that companies can't outsource it in many cases is because of the fact that it would be illegal to outsource past a certain size. You're also not gonna learn that many transferable skills either. You're literally just inputting stuff from one place to another. So yeah, don't like this one at all. There's really no silver lining to this one. I'm gonna put it into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be digital marketing. Now, if you look at LinkedIn, you sort by United States and entry level jobs, you will see that there is 123,000 entry-level digital marketing jobs that companies have posted that haven't been filled. That is a ridiculous number. And this one is such a good choice that I've actually interviewed several people on the channel about digital marketing and their stories in terms of getting into it. And digital marketing basically ticks all the boxes. You don't need a college degree. You don't need any experience. It's very flexible. You can get paid really well. You have a lot of opportunity for vertical and horizontal growth. So my friend Seth, who has been teaching people how to get into digital marketing for the last five years, and he's helped literally thousands of people, and he posted on his Instagram uh, and on his YouTube page, you can look them up on LinkedIn, message them if you want. He put together a free masterclass, which I will put down in the description below and down in the pinned comment, and you can check that out if you're interested in digital marketing. But yeah, this one definitely goes into S tier. Another really good one is going to be tech sales. Now there's several different words for this one, business development representative, sales development representative, software sales and there are some slight differences there but overall going into tech sales in general is a phenomenal path this is another one that you can get into extremely quickly actually even faster than digital marketing and you can make more right off the bat than digital marketing as well but i will say that it does take a certain type of personality to do really well in tech sales so it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea but for the right type of person this can be a phenomenal opportunity and i'm also interviewing someone on the channel who went into tech sales and now makes over six hundred thousand dollars a year so there's a lot of room for horizontal and vertical growth if you go into this industry so tech sales is also going to go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be a retail salesperson. Now, this is a very, very bad entry level job, but at the same time, it is an entry level job that a lot of different people have as their very first job. The pay is very low. You're gonna have to deal with Karens all the time. There's not a whole lot of room for vertical or horizontal growth. There's not a lot of upside. It's not a job where you get a lot of tips or anything like that. But the one redeeming feature with retail salesperson is you do learn the skill of sales, which can be incredibly valuable no matter what direction you go in your life. So for that reason, I will put retail salesperson into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be an office clerk. So this is like your typical, like in the office, you know, making copies of papers and doing just really menial tasks type of entry level job. I don't think I need to say too much about this one. Um, you know, kind of a soul sucking cubicle type job where you're probably gonna be bored in your very first few hours of your first day on the job, but some people really like that. They don't mind being bored and doing the same things, the same sort of repetitive tasks over and over again. But with that being said, there's also not a lot of upside to this one. Uh, a lot of the times uh, people find themselves looking like they're busy rather than actually accomplishing anything, which can lead to a sense of meaninglessness, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Office Clerk into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be web developer. And web developer is kind of like software developer light. It's a little bit easier to get into than software development, but a lot of people end up doing web development and then transitioning into software development, which pays even better. So there's a lot of opportunity with platforms like Shopify, for instance, learning web development on Shopify. It is a job you can do remotely. Um, there is a lot of room for horizontal or vertical growth. You can also get paid pretty well right off the bat, something like $40 an hour in your first job. And in my opinion, web developer is much easier to break into than software development. So for that reason, this one is going to go into S tier. 
Next one on the list is going to be food service workers. So, you know, you're serving people, you might be working in a cafeteria or at a McDonald's or something along those lines. So the pay is typically minimum wage, not a lot of room for horizontal or vertical growth. Uh, the best you could expect is maybe becoming the manager of the McDonald's or restaurant that you're working at. You don't get paid a lot right off the bat, and even the best amount that you could get paid isn't gonna be all that good, although there are exceptions. For instance, In-N-Out tends to pay their employees extremely well. I did a video on that uh, probably about three or four months ago. But for the most part, food service worker is gonna go into F tier. Next on the list is going to be software developer. So I already talked about this one a little bit. Um, it's kind of a little bit more of an advanced form of web development. Typically, if you were gonna break into this without a degree, you would do front end software development. There's a lot of boot camps, programs, uh, free resources, paid resources, et cetera, out there teaching you how to get into software development. And out of all of the entry level jobs that you can get into without experience and without a degree, software development probably pays the best right off the bat. You can literally make six figures a year in your first year right off the bat. But with that being said, a lot of people know about this. It's, this is not some kind of secret. You know, a lot of these on this list you probably are just hearing about, right? But a lot of people know that if you become a coder, do software development, uh, it's extremely lucrative. So there is a lot more competition to get into software development now. I would say out of all of the really good ones on this list, software developer is the toughest one to break into without a degree, but it's still definitely something you can do if you have a good plan and you go into it with a realistic expectation. So software developer is going to go into S tier. Something very similar to software developer, but distinct enough that I decided to include it uh, as a separate career is going to be software quality assurance tester. Now this is basically somebody who tests software, basically sees if it has any bugs or it has any glitches or anything like that so that they can get that software out to the public as fast as possible. And this is another one that you can get into at an entry level. It also pays really well, a lot of room for horizontal vertical growth, et cetera. This one goes into S tier as well. Next one on the list is going to be a receptionist. Now, this is maybe a job where you're working at a, you know, a hotel desk, for instance. There is a little bit of upside to this. So I used to live in Las Vegas and uh, some people that were friends of mine did work at some of the hotels and they would get tipped really nicely. Sometimes they would make hundreds and hundreds of dollars in tips every single night. So when you work at a hotel desk, for instance, you have the ability to upgrade people to you know, better rooms and, and better beds benefits, et cetera. So a lot of the time they'll tip you because they want you to upgrade them. And then on top of that, I also had other friends in college who got these overnight or like late night uh, desk jobs where they basically were kind of just warm bodies. People would walk in maybe once every couple hours and then they would just use it to study the rest of the time. So I would say this one is good if you're somebody who's in college and you need to study a lot and you want a job where you're basically just a warm body, you're sitting there, you're studying, and then once in a while somebody comes up and needs your help. But if it's a receptionist type job where you're really busy, I would say don't do it, avoid it. Not a lot of horizontal or vertical growth, but it is a nice way to make money, especially if you get tipped or especially if you have a lot of other stuff to do. Maybe if you're trying to do a business on the side, for instance. So receptionist, I'm gonna put into D tier. Information technology. So this is one you can get into relatively quickly with a few different certifications. A ton of room for vertical and horizontal growth. Basically, anytime you go in the technology industry, there's just a ton of opportunity out there for you. My friend Josh, I brought him on the channel a few times. Uh, he started off in IT, then he transitioned into cybersecurity, had a lot of success in both of those jobs, and then he transitioned into software development and had a lot of success there as well. So yeah, IT information technology is gonna go into S tier very closely related to IT is gonna be cybersecurity, another one you can break into relatively easily. This one goes into S tier as well. All right, I'm really trying to speed this up, guys. I know I, I can already see it now, people are gonna comment. So uh, security guard, um, it's a nice warm body job. That's what I like to call those jobs uh, where you can do other stuff while you're on the job. Usually it's pretty chill. Um, so for that reason, I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Truck driver plus other trade careers, um, these can be phenomenal. A lot of people who come from overseas, for instance, who don't have any like formal education or anything, they will get truck driver jobs and they can start making six figures a year pretty much right off the bat in their first one to two years. Now it's a really tough job lifestyle wise. You're usually like away from your family for long periods of time, but there are better jobs you can transition into later. Other trade careers, um, it depends on the state you live in, whether it's union, non-union, et cetera, how fast you can get into it. Some of them will uh, 
make you go to trade school. Some of them you can start getting paid as an apprentice right away. So there's a lot of ambiguity here and some of the trade careers are better than others, but overall, I'm gonna put this one into A tier. UX or UI design. So this is a great one if you're somebody who wants to get paid to work as an artist, especially the UI part of UX UI. So you can make really good money and you can get paid to work as an artist in UX UI. And the best thing is you can get into it relatively quickly without a college degree or previous experience. So this one is gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be customer service representative and specifically you would want to transition into a better customer service representative role. So something like customer relationship manager where you're typically working with other companies. So these roles can be done remotely. You can get into them relatively easily. It doesn't take too long. And if you're a really good people person who's good at helping people out, this can be a fantastic job for you. But there's also a lot of really bad customer service representative jobs as well. So overall, I'm going to put this one into B tier. Next one is data analyst. Another one you can get into relatively easily. A lot of people will start off as data analysts, and then they transition into data scientists or data engineers. Data is incredibly valuable and the ability to read, interpret, and then relay the information that you get from that data is incredibly valuable as well. So data analyst goes into S tier. Next one on the list is real estate agent. So this one is a little bit of a high stakes job. Like a lot of real estate agents make amazing money and others don't make any money at all. And then at the same time, a lot of people just do this as a side hustle and a lot of people take it very seriously. But with that being said, real estate agent is a really good opportunity for a lot of people depending on your personality. And there is room for a ton of vertical growth. There are real estate agents making over $10 million a year. So this one goes into A tier. Next one on the list is waiter. So I think waiter is actually a fantastic job if you're somebody who's in college or maybe you're somebody who is in high school and getting your very first job. And the reason for that is because you can work only a few hours a week, you can work on certain nights and make really good money from tips. Now, is there a lot of vertical or horizontal growth? No, but you're exchanging your time for money, you're not working all that much, maybe you work 10, 15 hours a week, and you're getting a lot for that time. So really good for like a first job, you would obviously wanna transition out of it at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and put waiter into C tier. Next one on the list is cashier. I don't think I need to say much about this. Super, super basic job, uh, not a lot of vertical horizontal growth. You're not gonna get paid that well. Um, you're not learning all that much um, and you have to deal with a bunch of Karens. So cashier goes into F tier. Shelf stalker is the next one. Obviously, <laughs> you're not learning all that much. Uh, all the same things I said about cashier, except I guess you deal with less Karens. So, you know, it gets a little bump there. Um, I'll put this one into F tier as well. Next one on the list is bartender. And I would put this one in the same category as waiter. You don't have to work that many hours and you can make really good money. So this could be a great job while you're in college, maybe earlier on in your career, you can work maybe 10, 15 hours a week and make good money. But it's not something you want to do forever. So this one is gonna go into C tier. And next is medical assistant. So this is a new, uh, extremely fast growing career. There's a ton of demand for it. You can get into it relatively easy with a little bit of training. There is a pretty good amount of vertical and horizontal growth for medical assistants. You can transition into a lot of different medical careers. And there is an insane amount of demand. Now, right now the pay is not very good, but because of the fact that there's so much demand, I can almost guarantee you the pay is going to go up. So medical assistant is gonna go into B tier. All right, so it's impossible to keep things short and also do thorough videos. So sorry to whichever side I upset. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment below. Even if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Uh, start a conversation, we can all learn from it. Also, check out this video right here. I think you'd really enjoy it. I, I forgot, I always forget which side it's on. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.